this mother in this demo we are going to use signal r uh, to um, implement real-time notification feature in our mbc application in the previous video we downloaded and added the uh, all the necessary files for signal r so in this demo we are going to use those and add sing signal r to our project so for the first place in order to use signal r we need to define the signal uh, server which is also called the hop class so in order to define the hop class we need to create the folder here I, and I'm going to name this folder as infrastructure infrastructure folder and inside that infrastructure folder I'm gonna create a class called signal server of course you can give any name you like but you need to have you need to create the this class uh, uh, which will be inheriting from the hop class to work for this uh, in order for the signal art to work so let's create this class it is in the namespace of mbc demo dot infrastructure 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 and let's define the class public uh, uh, class and the name of the class signal server and this class should inherit from the hub class which comes from the signal r nuget package that we uh, installed in our previous video and this makes this uh, uh, class as a signal server so we are not gonna implement any methods here uh, for the purpose of this um, demo just the class is uh, um, enough so let's close this now next step is uh, we're gonna need to add signal r to our startup.cs file so we are gonna add signal r here in the configure service method just before the mbc so we do services dot add signal r and once we added signal r here we need to configure the signal r routing so we can do app dot use uh, signal r and then we are going to provide a route configuration here route it's my mistake route goes to route dot map hub and we need to provide the name of our signal server class which inherits from the hub class so here we provide signal server signal server and now we need to provide the path uh, the path for this server so let's say jnl signal server of course you can give any path here but we're gonna need to use this path later on all the clients who wants to co communicate with the signal server should use this uh, uh, route uh, from the clients so let's bring in the namespace for this now and i'm gonna copy this name here so that i can use this letter signal server so let's save this now we need to go to our javascript file site.js where we uh, were displaying notifications and uh, now in this uh, script file i'm gonna go over here and uh, establish the connections to our signal server so let's say let connection equal to new signal r dot new signal r dot hub connection and now we need to provide the path route that we defined in startup.cs file so that the uh, client can communicate can connect with our signal server class so this defines the connection and now we can define the method that we want to call uh, from the server let's say connection dot on and let's say the name of the method is uh, uh, display notification display -E display notification and i'm going to copy this name and uh, once we call this method we are going to execute a function here and uh, in this function we are going to call our get notification method let's save this and now finally we need to establish the connection we need to start the connection so that can be done by connection dot start and this starts the connection 
now the other thing we need to do is whenever we create the notification in our notification repository then we can call this method and whenever we call this method from this notification repository then this method in the client executes and it executes the get notification method which in turn display the notification in our browser so let's go to the notification repository and just after we finished creating our notification in our create method we are going to execute that method with the help of signal server signal r so in order to use signal r in our repository we need to inject um, the class here let's define a private variable i hop context and we need to provide the type of our signal server class signal server and let's say this as a hop context and uh, if you if you saw the if you see the red squiggly here then you need to bring in the namespace here so just click here and bring in the namespace and after that we need to inject that hop context inside our constructor so let's i hop context and the type would be the same signal server and let's name this as a hop context and now I'm going to store this hop context in our private variable, private field hop context, so that I can use it throughout our class. Now, just after we finished creating our uh, notification, we need to execute our client side method that we defined inside the JS. Uh, this method, display notification, from here, and we can call that method by doing hop context dot clients dot all dot invoke async and provide the name of the method display notification and we can pass extra data here and for our case we are not passing any data to the client so let's just pass empty so this is all it takes to implement um, signal r to provide real-time notification in our mbc application and once we do this we need to make a small change here and uh, the change is that uh, whenever our notification count is not equal to zero we display the count in our base class and uh, if the notification count is uh, equal to zero then we hide all those elements uh, from our html element and So whenever the notification is, uh, whenever there is notification count, we also need to uh, tell the browser to show the uh, element that we hide uh, here. So let's we gonna do notification count dot show and then let's say slow. And uh, once we do that, let's go to the browser and let's refresh. And let's refresh the another browser as well and uh, now I'm going to create the notification by clicking on this button because here I am logged in as test at the red gmail.com and here I am logged in as test one at the red gmail.com and whenever the uh, I change the status of this pet then this user should get the notification and uh, I need you to uh, see just in between the uh, email address and logout button and whenever this user changes the status of this page then this user should get the notification without refreshing the browser so let's give it a notification and there you go we see the notification if that user again changes the status of this page then we see the notification count increasing so with the help of signal r we can communicate we can provide real time communications between the clients and the server so at last uh, uh, just a small revision here in order for this signal r to work we need to create a hop class uh, 
uh, and uh, any the name of the class could be any one but that should inherit from the hop class and after we create that class we need to go to our startup file and uh, we need to add the signal r here in the dependency injection section after then we need to configure the signal r and we need to provide the route for the signal r and we can use this route from our client to connect to the signal server and once we connect to the signal server we can start the connection and whenever uh, the uh, name of this method then we can um, define the connection dot on function and give it a name of the method and we can execute this method from our server side code and whenever the server side code executes this method then we can call other methods that we want to in our client uh, client side script and uh, the method that we uh, name here we can call this method from uh, whenever from wherever we want in our server side uh, code so we want to call this method whenever the user creates the notification so we just uh, called uh, the display notification method from our create notification method by using ihop context So this is the end of this demo and thanks for watching. Have a good day.